People tend to think of family law as marriage and divorce and maybe adoption, but really family law is so much more than that. So the book thinks of this um, really in concentric circles. So we can think of the core of family law being about marriage and divorce and adoption, and then an out, uh, the next ring out would be about the legal regulations of families, so for example domestic violence laws, um, the child welfare system that govern, governs abuse and neglect, and then an even further ring out that people tend not to think of as family law are all kinds of things that actually deeply affect families, criminal justice policies, zoning laws, workplace laws. Um, these all have a tremendous influence on whether or not families are able to provide their children with the relationships that they need for healthy development. So once we understand family law in this much broader way, then we can think about all the ways in which family law undermines um, family, families fam and family relationships. So at the very core, certainly one of the things that's, that's in the news very much right now is marriage equality. So that's a basic way in which the law in the, still the majority of states doesn't support and recognize family relationships. But also we can think about divorce laws, which we've long known and understood and yet really haven't done enough to address. Um, divorce laws really pit spouses against each other. At this moment of, of, of crisis and tremendous difficulty in families, when families are trying to restructure themselves, divorce law does so little to help them um, find a new way to move forward in, in, in a new family structure.